Hello and welcome guys. I've got a bit of a bad news. Um, the tutorial itself will be cancelled because WhatsApp decided to put their application on the website itself. Therefore, uh, the tutorial is no longer needed. However, instead of that, I'll show you short setup how to pass that information from your mobile to PC or to a different device instead. I have to admit, this probably works better in the long run in terms of using WhatsApp or another device and it's less buggy. As you can see, modification contains a small overlay that is available when you're within a WhatsApp and with a single press of a button it will enable WhatsApp either on your computer or in this case on my tablet. I've got two devices I can send that WhatsApp conversation to. WhatsApp will also close automatically on your mobile the minute the web browser is open. We will use several plugins here. It is auto notification, auto remote and also we're going to use Event Ghost on PC with auto remote plugin installed. You can have a look on one of my previous tutorials on how to use Event Ghost on your PC and how to set it up with auto remote. We'll start with a scene containing two different buttons responsible for sending WhatsApp messages to other devices. One will be a tablet and this is configured this way. We're going to send out a remote message to a tablet device saying WhatsApp. Then we'll destroy the scene. The second button, it is set up in very similar fashion. We're just going to send exactly the same message to our PC using auto remote and it will be intercepted by even ghost and then we're gonna destroy the scene. So now we want this scene to appear each time we are in WhatsApp. This is a very simple solution as well, I'm sure you did that before. We're going to link this scene to when we launch WhatsApp application and position it in a corner that is not obstructing to the text or other buttons. So you're going to quickly create a task for creating and destroying the scene and link it to the fact that we're enabling WhatsApp. Another profile will be responsible for intercepting a notification from the computer. We're going to use auto remote message sent to our, our mobile asking to close WhatsApp and that's going to be intercepted by auto notification on toast intercept. Now opening the WhatsApp will cause scene to appear on the screen and then you can pass the conversation to one of the devices configured before. The message will be sent over the auto notification and when the message is received also the WhatsApp will close. In even ghost we're going to use auto re in even ghost we're going to use auto notification as an event. We're going to search for the message that we've sent from our mobile and then execute a command line from Windows. You're going to ask it to start Google Chrome on the desired page in the new window. When, once this is completed, we will ask also Event Ghosts to send a message back to our mobile saying that the message has been received and this will be a trigger to close the WhatsApp on our device. So how about our tablet setup? Basically, we're going to create a profile that will intercept our toast message from the mobile using auto notification intercept. We will be looking for exactly the same message saying WhatsApp from auto remote. Once this is received, we're going to launch the following task. Because my tablet is not rooted at the moment, I had to came up with a workaround because auto input is not perfect for this. And as far as I'm concerned, there is no way of passing an information to your tablet web browser or mobile web browser to open in the desktop mode. There is a thread on XDA forum that would make all the websites opening in a desktop mode permanently on your Chrome browser, but I don't think this is an ideal situation. So what we're trying to do here is make auto input, change the settings on the Chrome browser to open the website in a desktop mode so the page would load. Once this is completed, it will also send the feedback back to our device, to our mobile, to close the WhatsApp and tell it to continue on the tablet. And as usual guys, like the video if you found it useful, 
leave me a comment if you have any feedback in regards to this video or ideas or subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you in the next one with another Tasker creation. Bye!